Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spirit, I might go down a rabbit hole, and welcome to Modern Skyblock 3 Super Shorts. Now that we have a mob farm, we can go into combustion. You'll notice I now have oak wood thanks to those oak saplings. One wood gear, one wooden casing, one wooden heat component, and a wooden combustion heater, a button, and a trap door. Combustion is a relatively complex process with a lot of cool uses. Let's start by setting up a basic combustion multi-block. The format of the multi-block is just six blocks on every side of an empty space. However, the blocks have to be a certain type. For the wooden casing, they have to be wooden. That means I can use an oak trapdoor. Now that the multi-block is valid, we can open up this interface. Insert multiple items in order to get heat units. Speed tells us how long it takes us to burn our fuels into heat units. Efficiency tells us how well our furnace fuels are turned into heat units. To craft using the combustion heater, you must throw items into the combustion heater's empty space, give the combustion heater heat units, note, opening up the oak trapdoor makes the combustion heater lose its heat units, then press a button once everything is appropriate to start the crafting process. Before we use this combustion heater, let's work on something else. Ticker's construct, blank patterns, tool station, stencil table, part builder, and pattern chest. Now, we could place these down willy-nilly. The cool thing about tickers is that if its tables are together, they all interact. Tickers construct lets you make modular tools. What I really want is called the comma. It'll let me shear leaves. But first, I need stencils for each part in the tool, like the comma head, or binding patterns, or tool rods. You'll notice these patterns are now available in the part crafter and you can find them in the pattern chest. Let's make our comma head out of bone and our binding as well. While I could use a bone tool rod to get more durability, wood tool rods provide the ecological trait which lets me automatically repair my tools. However, as you can see, I have so many bones that this is not a concern. So let's make a comma out of bone, bone, and bone. Let's try vein mining these leaves and just look at all the plant matter I get. Now to use this plant matter to make dirt. All you have to do is throw in four pieces of plant matter, fuel it up with sticks, and press the button to get dirt. With dirt and a wooden heat component, I can make a dirt furnace, which uses three times as much fuel as a regular furnace. Plant matter can be smelted directly into charcoal, which we can turn into mini charcoal from Actually Additions. Each tiny charcoal smelts one item, or in the dirt furnace, three tiny charcoals smelt one item. With torches, I no longer need half slab platforms. That's much better. To melt lava, we could place a blaze powder block directly above a torch and wait, or we could speed up the process by making a crucible with clay. Compressed dirt, compressed clay. Let's make a clay bucket, and once these bricks are done, fire it to make a working clay bucket. One crucible. To place on top of a torch, I'll use gunpowder to make blaze powder, create a blaze powder block, and toss it into the crucible to eventually make lava. Excuse me while I live on the edge and set up a wooden cobblestone generator. The thing about clay buckets is that though they can hold cold liquids quite well, if you hold lava for even once, the clay bucket will break after you place down the lava. Bye, bucket. This cobblestone generator lets me vein mine. This is much safer. In your downtime, it's a good idea to complete the fishing quest, which does take a lot of RNG. This old furnace will never be used for anything else, ever. So I'll just throw it into the void and get a proper furnace instead. Let's make nine stone rock grinders and compress them into a compressed stone rock grinder, which does have a simpler recipe. I need to both to complete the quest. Now I can grind compressed cobblestone into gravel. I compress gravel into sand. One stone gear, a stone casing, a stone heat component, and a stone combustion heater. This combustion heater has 100% efficiency, so my sticks will generate 100 heat units each. Let's finish this life infusion quest. This could be useful if we wanted to make a mob farm, but for now I'll just craft and uncraft it. Infuse any sapling with four rotten flesh to get dead bush. Combust dead bushes and flint to get seeds. Because we have more heat units, we can do multiple crafts at once. Infuse a piece of dirt with four seeds to get grass. To utilize this grass, we'll need a lot of dirt. The fastest way to get dirt is with a freezer. Let's fill up some glass bottles and throw them into our combustion heater for snow. With this block of snow, we can now duplicate snow. Then we can make a mini freezer. Freeze snow into heavy snow. Freeze heavy snow into coarse dirt. Make an axe head and a shovel head out of bone, and make a mattock which automatically tills the ground. Now we can till coarse dirt to get proper dirt. To wrap up this episode, let's claim our loot bags. I'll let you know of anything interesting I get. This pitcher plant acts like an infinite water source. Every 50 unique foods I eat, I'll get an extra heart, so the more foods I get from these loot chests, the better. The Akashic Tome lets you read from any mod's documentation book. Right-click to open it up and pick a book, and left-click on the air to switch it back to the original Akashic Tome. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. Next episode, we'll work on alchemy and getting our basic resources. As always, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed!